Hey, welcome back. It's the road to Freya Farm. Thanks for watching this week. We're here in week number five, and this is video number nine. Where are we at today? We are in the cabin, which is different from our camper and different from the house. Um, we are, we've spent about 30 minutes in here just kind of cleaning up. We're going to be using this space um, as our kitchen and our bathroom and kind of a communal space when the other interns get here in May. We have two more joining us, um, which is good because we need the help. Uh, we are here in week five starting... Well, we've already started the market garden. We've There are a lot of plants yeah, in the ground. There's thousands of plants in the ground. Um, and so we're here to tell you what we did this week. Um, Monday, we were putting plants in the ground. Uh, yep, we've started it was a off. a beautiful day. It was really beautiful. Um, we have been starting off with brassica family plants because they're a little bit more cold hardy. Yeah. So that includes cabbage, broccoli, kohlrabi. Uh, thanks, Aunt Carol, for the kohlrabi recipe. Can't wait to try it. <laughs> Cauliflower. Um, some lettuces have been started. Uh, so that was Monday, Tuesday. We started doing bed prep, um, and that was a whole lot of fun. Yeah, um, that's been one of my favorite activities is yeah. like making the actual garden bed. Um, it's like a mix of kind of hard physical labor, shoveling and wheelbarrowing. Yeah, also math and design go into it too. Yeah. Making kind of, sure you get those edges. Mm -hmm. Got to keep an eye on, you know, it's, it's an art. So you have to keep an eye on lines and flow and how things look. Um, when we started kind of digging into a bed to, to form it up, we use these raised beds. Um, we started digging in and then we kind of realized parts of it were too wide, parts were too narrow. Um, we had another eye on it. Our mentor came down and take a look and he was like, mm, this isn't quite right. It needs to be this, you know, we try to shoot for standardization. So the pathway needs to be this wide, the bed needs to be this wide. So we fixed our mistake and then we just continued on. And, um, what are some of the processes for making the beds? Okay, so we started off with the wheel hoe. I think we just pointed it out in a video a couple weeks ago. Yeah. And basically it's two wheels with some prongs and you do like a karate move <laughs> and you just step forward and hoo -ah! Hoo -ah! <laughs> And it, so this is an old kitchen garden. The soil here is black chocolate cake. It is moist yeah. and mycelium just running everywhere, full of worms. So hoeing was pretty easy. This, hoeing this was really week. easy. Yeah. Um, so we will hoed, we stirrup hoed, mm -hmm. um, then we u barred, uh, broad forked. Broad forked, which lifts up the soil and gives it just some aeration. I'm yeah. kind of making that 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 up but I think that's right. No, I think that's right. Um, um, we hoary horried, um, just hand weeded mm -hmm. and then we also amended the soil even though it's in really good shape we put a little extra fertilizer on it because um, in that entire we call it plot one which has uh, four beds in it um, all of it is dedicated to onions this round and they are uh, heavy feeders so yeah. we got gave them a little bit extra just sprinkle it on top of the soil and that took up most of Tuesday, and then... Planting the onions <laughs> took up Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah. Um, especially, so one of the beds was specifically for bunching green onions. And so you can just fit a whole lot in there because they don't grow very big. And you can harvest them early. So we are just sitting there planting. <laughs> it took us a long time. Sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Um, so we were talking about... Um, planting onions this week and how we spent a lot of time on a short amount of bed because we were planting tiny little onions. Um, the following day on Thursday we a, figured out a better way to plant the bunching onions yeah. and it was a lot quicker and then we also carried on to more beds where it was a larger spacing and we just kind of flew through uh, three more beds. We planted leeks which were a really fun planting process. Um, we had a big old heavy iron bar, just like poof, eight inches deep. Yeah, you make every a, six inches apart. You make a big, uh, you make a really deep well, and then you just put a leak into it, and you don't fill it. You just kind of let rainwater and um, other natural elements 
partially fill it, but then the leak itself grows really fat and fills the hole itself. Yeah, that's how you blanch the leaks and get them to be eight inches long. Mm -hmm. um, and then that was a fun day because uh, all the family joined us down to help us plant the rest of the onions. Yeah, we had everybody out there pretty much. Yeah, uh, check out pigandleaf.com and follow Pig and Leaf on social media. Um, Cliff loves to take videos, especially when the whole family is out, so you can see a quick video of that. Um, um, and then today is just rainy and cold. Yeah, I feel like sleeping right now. Everybody just wants to sleep. Uh, we spent most of the day in the greenhouse. Yeah, up potting tomatoes. And then we probably, I don't know, seeded maybe 15 seed flats to mm -hmm. a thousand seeds or so in those. Yeah. Up potted marigolds. Um, had some really good food this morning for breakfast. We had pork belly. Have you ever had pork belly? Have you ever had pork belly? I guess it, apparently you've had bacon, you've had pork belly. Yep. No, nope, it's the opposite. Well, whatever. <laughs> Eat some pork belly. It's far superior to bacon, especially if you get it from pig and meat. It's far superior to bacon, Yum. especially if you get it from pig and meat. Yum. Anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, check in. We're having another video this week that's... Uh, how we designed a cold frame um, using the permaculture principles. So check that out and subscribe. Send us an email, send us a text. Uh, call us, write us, and I wrote it down. Send us some chocolate chip cookies in the mail. <laughs>